and greetings everybody and welcome to another Jester Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing the Undine Nikor Bio Warship T5U and you'll be happy to know that following today's review I'll be giving one of these away so um, to enter all you need to do is to subscribe to my channel and leave your Star Trek Online email so don't forget all you need to do to win one of these ships uh, is just subscribe and leave your Star Trek Online email address and I'll leave that for a couple of weeks and after that I'll put all the names in the hat, draw one out, and send it to you by email. Well, Star Trek Online email. Anyway, back to the ship. Yeah, I have put a little bit of Borg adaptions on it here, which is rather contradiction in terms, considering that the Borg could never assimilate Undine vessels, but there you go. And look at this here. Is, is this a deflector, do you think? It's similar isn't it yeah or a, or a bio equivalent to a deflector yeah she's she's different in design I'll give you that hmm but anyhow let's go to the bridge and uh, have a look at that shall we see you in just a second well, here we are on the bridge of the Undine Nikkor bio warship, and as you can see, it is extremely alien in concept, isn't it? Yes, I have to say, I am impressed with this. I do like it. Let's have a look around. So, I believe this is the Captain's the captain's chair, I think. Let's turn on. Oh, it's like access to library files. But I think you can actually sit down here. Yeah, there you go. So the Undine must have really long arms. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, moving on. So we're going over here. Or here rather. This is where you access your bank account. And the small craft and you know this master kid drone's getting on my nerves floating around behind me I'm have to yeah it's driving me nuts right move over here and this is where you contact your duty officers yeah excellent right let's move oh he's back he's back yeah didn't get the message eh Right, so the, the screen up here. Yes. Oh, this is uh, it's quite big, isn't it? I wonder if you can get off it. Let's have a look. No, you can't get off it. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? But uh, yeah, I quite like this design. I think it's different. Yes, I think someone's having a joke up there. Some smiley faces on the roof. And uh, <laughs> some strange sad faces there. Yeah. Yeah, I think a few Easter eggs have been put into the program in there, I think. Yeah, they do look like smiley faces, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, there you go. Right, so, let's have a quick look at the build. So, here we are. We've got four weapons to the front and four weapons to the rear. I'm rocking four fluidic anti-proton dual-heavy cannons at the front. And uh, at the rear, I am using four fluidic anti-proton turrets at the rear. I'm using the Nukara deflector array and the Nukara impulse engines, which is part of a two-piece set. 
and the two piece set is plus five percent bonus energy weapon damage weapon stabilizers automatically removes weapon weapons disabled can only occur up to once per 60 seconds I'm running the um, discovery warp core which is at uh, mark 11 no it isn't it's at mark 12 actually the shields is the Klingon honor guard core variant shield array in the device slots we're running the red matter capacitor the phase waveform beacon um, which calls for Herc reinforcements and I'm running the auxiliary battery uh, now the phase waveform beacon you can acquire that in the where are we? here we go in the story arc home if you complete that that is one of the rewards and it's quite a good piece of kit actually I quite like that engineering consoles the universal fluidic energy focusing array and that's that's the um, that's where all the undine ships join up and um, fire as a group now that's saying that uh, to target it's giving 3173.1 antiproton damage times three uh, I'm running the ultimate modified swarm processor and that's given me 3.6 critical chance and 31.7 accuracy rating in the science consoles we're in the universal plasmonic leech the Voth power subcore uh, that's plus 15.2 percent shield hit points universal ablazive hazard shielding again 5 percent shield resistance uh, another must have this is the universal dynamic power redistributor module KDF aligned players you can pick this up from the exchange um, if you're a federation player yes you're gonna have to purchase the Atlas I'm afraid and um, or try and catch it in a lockbox I think they're infinity lockboxes these the Atlas anyway moving on um, bioneural infusion circuits this is a lobby item and this will set you back 200 low buy unless you're going to pick it up in a sale and then you can pick it up for 140 lobby and this gives me a 23.8 critical severity and again the, another highly desirable console is the Tachyo Kinetic Converter which again gives you a 37.5 flight turn rate 1.3 critical chance and a 12.5% critical severity a zero point energy conduit Pick this up to the Romulan represent representations, <laughs> reputations, and this gives you 23.3 percent critical chance and some other doohickeys. Um, here, the Universal Hostile Acquisition Console, which is giving me a plus 30 accuracy rating and a plus 30 Starship Control expertise, and finally, the Universal Assimilated Module which is giving me a 1.2 critical chance and an 11.5 critical severity moving on to the stations we have a lieutenant commander universal station which I've made tactical we have a commander tactical station we have a lieutenant engineering station and we have a lieutenant commander science station there we go now you've seen her on the inside and uh, yes she is yeah different so let's venture outside and we'll just have a quick look at the statistics the hold and shields and things and then we'll uh, do a bit of a Japori run and see how she performs so see you in just a minute so here we are again so before we get into a Japori run let's take a quick look at the statistics so here we are we have a very squishy hull 
87,365. And we have a minus 15 defense rating. Shields are in the 19,000 region. That's not bad actually. The damage resists are in the 30s, early 30s. Radiation resist is, is down 15.4. So we are susceptible to a lot of radiation damage accuracy rating 91.4 very pleased with that critical chance 24.7 percent and critical severity 158.8 percent and yes i know i say this every time but for new players if you can you need to be aiming to get your critical chance above 20 percent and your critical severity above 120 percent if possible and there is ways of doing that and I'll probably cover that in another review so now moving on to the masteries now this ship had a free upgrade uh, so you don't get a trait but what you do get is a tier 1 plus 5 accuracy rating Tier 2, 15% critical severity. Tier 3, 2.5 critical chance. And Tier 4, 10% kinetic damage and 10% energy damage. So there we go. So we've had a look under the hood. Now let's take her into the field and see how she performs. And welcome back, and here we go, once more into the breach, dear friends, or into the Norsican breach, dear friends. So let's see how she performs. Ooh, I do like those uh, cannons. Didn't do much damage though, did it? I was a bit surprised with that. Yeah, let's do another run. It's always a tough one, this one, isn't it? Got two percent. Let's get it now. Rex, let's right. There we go. I don't like the effects of these cannons, but they're quite cool, aren't they? What seems to be doing much damage, though? For those of you who get motion sick, I do apologise, I keep forgetting myself. Sometimes I mean, yeah. I keep forgetting just how uh, quick these, some of these ships can turn. <clears throat> well, the turn rate seems okay. Oh, I do like these weapons, they look very effective, but... Oh, well, that did quite a bit of damage. Oh, 
And it is only a T5U ship, I suppose, so maybe I'm expecting a little bit too much. But it is quite a challenge with these T5U ships. And I've been thinking of doing reviews on uh, lower level ships, to be honest with you, because there's some really good ones out there. I do know fleets as well, actually, that are doing um, shuttle contests, would you believe? And some of these fleets take pride on themselves at uh, having lethal shuttles uh, when doing um, bug um, battles. So I'm sure if they can uh, be effective with a shuttle against the cube, I'm sure it will be fun to um, use a T5U ship. <coughs> yes, I was debating whether to go for the, um, <coughs> the cannons or the or the beams for this uh, for this ship, but uh, the beams were very expensive on the exchange. The cannons were, to be honest with you, but they were cheaper than beams, so I opted to go for cannons. I think when I do a little bit more EC, I think I shall have a go at fitting her out with some uh, Fluid decanter proton beams and see how she performs there. Well, the cannons are quite fun to use to this one. Oh, they do look very effective. There we go. Well, I have to be honest, I really enjoyed that. Um, that was a really, really enjoyable run. Wasn't expecting that at all uh, from this little Undine ship. But that was quite fun. Really enjoyed that. Okay. So, just to reiterate what I said earlier. I'm going to be giving one of these away and if you would like to take part in that uh, prize draw if you're already subscribed to my channel just leave your um, game email address in the comments and if you uh, haven't subscribed but you want to take part yep just simply subscribe and Put your email details, your your Star Trek Online email details. Otherwise, I won't be able to send you the ship. So I'll send it to you by Star Trek Online email. And what I will do is uh, in a couple of weeks' time, or maybe a week's time, I'll do a draw. And uh, I'll pull your name out of a hat. And if you win, I'll let you know and send you the ship. And I'll... Let everyone know on uh, my YouTube channel who's won it. So, that was great fun. So, don't forget, if you want one of these, just subscribe, leave your email address, your Star Trek Online email address, and uh, yeah, best of luck. So, Without further ado, until next time, keep safe, and this is Jester signing off.